County commissioners have unanimously approved a $621,000 incentives package. Are we late or early? No, <laughs> this is perfect. Now you nailed it. Nailed it on this one. They're celebrating. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> here's a live look at our... No. They're happy um, here. Yeah. For the Time uh, Institute, a new uh, cancer prevention clinic, these incentives cover 100% of all impact fees. There we go. We're giving away the impact fees. Four years of ad valorem tax on capital improvements and four years of tangible personal property tax along with expedited permitting. The time, it's either time or timey, T-Y, capital M-E, Institute affiliated with the Jacksonville-based developer Cross Regions Group, hmm. represents a total investment of about $20.5 million for land, building, and equipment. It's expected to create 54 high-wage jobs. The clinic planned at the Fountains at St. John's at Beachwalk near I-95 and County Road 210 will later expand to include a cancer research laboratory and a small-scale cancer drug manufacturing facility. Hmm. The clinic planned, uh, I'm sorry, David Ergisi, president and CD CEO of Cross Regions, founded the Cancer Research Institute in memory of his son, oh, yeah. Tyler Mert Ergisi, mm -hmm. who lost his life um, to cancer at age 19. That's ah, sad. It was bone cancer or something. It's horrible. Ergisi, it, it was osteosarcoma. Uh, yeah, man. Yeah. Uh, Ergisi stated the Ergisi family is committed to using all their resources, relationships, and economic strength in the quest to find a cure for children like Tyler. Mm hmm. Commission Chair Sarah Arnold praised the project as an incredible asset. A construction permit for the $5.2 million, 30,000 square foot building was issued. And the project uh, completion anticipation project is com anticipated to be completed. Mm. There we go. By the fourth quarter of 2025. Uh, the two-story facility will be located west of Ascension St. Vincent's Healthcare. Center. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, good. Yeah. I like that they're in tangent with each other. Yeah, we're in that same area. So, uh, there you go. Yep. How do you feel about this, Troy? Um, no, I think it's. I think it's great. I think this is uh, the type of stuff we need to be using for our economic uh, boost. Um, I think they said they gave four years for ad valorem and mm -hmm. and the impact fees. I, I don't necessarily always agree with the impact fees on commercial in mm. St. John's County. Yeah. So I'm okay with that. Um, and the reason why is I think we we're so out of balance with our residents to commercial. Um, you know, I think we're like, you know, eight, like 83% residential, like 17%. And we'll ask joy this tomorrow commercial and we need to be more like 70, 30. Uh, so this is, uh, a good clean industry and how great would it be if you know St. Augustine's the town where they found uh, found the cure for cancer right you know yeah and uh, to all the cancer survivors out there I'm pretty sure that you you know they're 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 behind it and mm -hmm. anybody I mean and everybody's been touched by cancer mm -hmm. I, I don't know of anybody who hasn't been you know affected by it in their family when deciding the size of commercial companies coming in is that a factor like is, is a company well, too big for St. John's County um it depends on what incentives they're asking for. So, I mean, like the incentives might be too big. The company's not going to be too big, mm. but the incentives might be too big. It just depends on where they're placed and, and uh, the concurrency of that area and, and uh, you know, how, how the mobility around that area is going to be. Um, you know, uh, tangible taxes, in case you don't know what that is, that's like uh, the equipment we have in here. Like if you have a business, you have tangible tax that you have to pay. Um, and I don't have a problem waving, waving that, uh, you know, ad valorem tax, uh, that one, they did put a time limit on it, but it would have been, uh, you know, they, they're building a facility that's probably a, you know, a $20 million facility. Mm -hmm. Uh, we'll make up that in time. Okay. You know, if, if it was, if it was just dirt sitting there, it would have been taxed at a much, much, much lower level, but we'll make up that gap of those four, uh, four years of ad valorem tax. So. Um, you know, over time, commercial pays for itself about 20 fold compared to residential. 
Gotcha. Okay. Impact fees on residential is more important than Im- impact fees on commercial. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Did I nerd out too much right now? No, I, I feel like, good. No, I that's education why there. we're here is to give people this information, man. Tangible so appreciate tax. it. Yeah. yeah. New vocab word. Yeah. Another piece of information we got to give to people is...